identity. In any city, in any country, go to any college dormitory you can get yourself into. Ask the guard at the front desk if the holder of identity is in his room. The worker will tremble slightly and inform you that he has just left the building and that you must have missed him outside. Thank the guard and proceed outside. The scenery will have changed and it will be a bright spring day no matter what time you left the dormitory. You will be standing on a concrete pathway surrounded by grass with a large fountain placed in the center. Students will be lying on the grass laughing loudly and playing games. They will invite you to join them, but you must politely decline. If you accept, they will attack, killing you in the slowest manner possible. Your task is to find the holder, and it will not be a difficult one. He will be wearing long black robes, and his head will be covered in a hood. If you approach him and tap on his shoulder, you will get his attention. You must ask, in a calm and polite voice, Who are the victims? Saying anything else will cause him to remove his hood. If you are driven insane by the sight, consider yourself lucky, for it may give you some small relief from the eternity of torture facing you. If you have done everything correctly, the holder will begin to speak. His voice will be low and soft, but it will fill your soul with intense coldness. He will tell you of every person that has died and will die because of the objects. He will tell you of their lives, their loved ones, and the impact their death had on the world. The calm scene around you will fade as he tells his story. The students will grow older until they die and their bodies rot, and the fountain will start flowing blood. You will feel personally responsible for everything the holder tells you, but you must remain impassive through all of this. This seems to be a demanding task, but after all you have been through, it may be quite easy. If you listen to the holder without so much as a twitch, he will ask you what you intend to do with this knowledge. Smile at the holder and ask him, Why ask what you already know? The holder will nod somberly and hand you his ID card. He will crumple into dust and the dead bodies around you will awaken. They will be quite mad at you, as the holder was the only thing keeping them at peace. The only way to escape this is to put on the robe the holder was wearing. No matter what your size, it will fit you, so don't worry about that. If you manage to put it on in time, you will wake up on the grounds of the school you last attended, holding the ID card. The ID card is Object 201 of 538. It will get you into anywhere you need to go, but beware what you find inside.